Today I want to talk about the judiciary and how it will take us to war in 2022. I'll begin by saying that history will not be kind to us for passing our constitution. This is because it was a mistake for us to empower the judiciary as we did in Katiba 2010. Wangari Madai once called the 2010 constitution a protest document, and she was right. We were so terrorized by Moi and his brand of leadership that we created a document that was anti-Moi. We chipped away at the power and the mystique of the presidency, we stripped the AG of most of his functions, and we created a judiciary that personifies Moiism without Moi. With Katiba 2010, we moved Moiism from the political arena into the judiciary mm. and shifted power from state house to the courts. Allow me to explain. Now, if you review the theory of justice that is being developed through judicial decisions, you will notice a pattern. It is a pattern of encroachment by the judiciary on the other arms of government and the elevation of the status of the courts above parliament and the executive. The judiciary has refused to answer to parliament for its expenditure, even though it is required to by law. Then it has put a target on the executive's back and through rigid interpretations of the law, the courts are declaring that the actions of the president are unconstitutional, even when they are in the constitution. <laughs> and their decisions cannot be reversed, cannot be appealed, they are final. This is judicial tyranny, the kind of judicial tyranny that will make us go to war. How? Well, last Thursday, former Chief Justice Willie Mutunga advised judges to go on strike to compel the executive to obey court orders. Thankfully, Martha Koma shot down the idea, but could it be that the former CJ is giving us the roadmap that the judiciary and other nihilist haters of country will use to destroy it? Well, according to the Constitution, the Supreme Court makes the final declaration on who becomes president. And in 2017, Professor Mutahingunye accused the Supreme Court judges of staging a civilian coup when they nullified the election and overthrew the will of 15 million voters using technicalities. Then Maraga tried to stop the rerun, but the Supreme Court did not have enough judges to form quorum. Well, you could say that the other Supreme Court judges went on strike. <laughs> and it's okay, because the strike prevented a constitutional crisis. But what if the Supreme Court nullifies the 2022 election, then goes on strike? And what if they also declare the IEBC unconstitutional, the entire electoral process from president to MCA flawed? Then the result will be a crisis that will be taken on by the military. It sounds extreme, but the fact is that the judiciary has been making playful and reckless decisions in the name of judicial activism and independence. But they should be warned that when the boundaries of the civic order are pushed to a point where they are inelastic, they snap and the Praetorian order takes over. The constitution will be suspended, the police will become civilians, and the military will assume control of the country. If this becomes our fate, we will have no one to blame but ourselves. Interesting. Thank you for watching.